the human participant is the same uh, player we had from last year, which is uh, Oriol Vinios, who participated in 2002 World Cyber Games. And while he has not been keeping up at the level of 60 hours per week or something of that level, um, he has great gameplay skills, and last year was still able to provide a great challenge for the boss. Alright, so here's the beginning of the match. Um, our human player is playing Zer. And okay, so um, the human player was actually playing random, and in this case it actually turned out to be Zer. And then we have the bot X here is Protoss. So I believe this map is Python, which is a four-player map. And what's gonna happen is right now we have a human player actually starting to send out its overlord in order to scout kind of the top base. So this is a map where there's basically a base at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. It's pretty standard where you have an easy to hold expansion, and there's kind of a big area in the middle of the map where battles can happen. So it looks like the Zerg is, um, hasn't done anything yet. The, the bot is building at its first pylon, so it's not doing anything like building near the uh, human player, it's not doing anything too aggressive, so, so far we just see kind of a standard opening. And we see that the Zerg player is building another overlord, which means it's going to be able to build more worker units, so it's going to work more of a technical build at this point. And what we see now is the, the boss starting to go out and scout, it's getting out the 3 o'clock position, and kind of one of the things we see where it's actually wasting resources is the worker units actually carrying around an old patch, so it should have probably return that before going off in uh, scouting now. And it looks like we have the human player now is, I think he's expanding with this, so we have kind of an economic focus built in the player. So this is kind of a 12 patch, which is uh, very econ focused. And at the same time we're seeing now the two game from the Protoss, and this is actually a somewhat aggressive build from the Protoss player. So given what we've seen so far, it looks like uh, the bot might have a chance here if he becomes really aggressive and pushes in against the third player. And I think we see now on the top of the map that the workers now are coming across the overlord. So they kind of know that um, the bot now knows where the player is, but hasn't actually scouted out what tech he's doing or what kind of economic focus he has. Been. And it doesn't look like the player's actually scouted the, the, the bot yet. So the bot might actually have advantage here to take advantage of the human as long as. Um, he doesn't actually have any defenses up yet, so the, the bot now has one attack unit out. It has a Z-Lot, it can go do some damage now, but it's going to play it safe and just hold on to its ramp for now. And it looks like it's also, um, it, it sends out a worker unit, but I think this attacker on the ramp is actually being in the way of it, so. Um, what you see here is this worker wandering around. He got lost because this attacker unit was in the way, so. Um, a little bit of efficiency there. Do you have any idea what that worker unit is doing at this point? <laughs> is it just scouting yeah, yeah. I think it's on the uh, just scouting look. Uh, uh, so here on the uh, bot, it's going to be really aggressive. Uh, it could be uh, a mistake for me because if the uh, human player was uh, playing at this two, it would lose with three zeros. But here uh, it's a good uh, uh, I think it's a good thing to make because uh, uh, that uh, yeah. So what we're seeing here is the first attack where the bot should actually be able to get advantage here by, oh, just as it's about to take out the third, um, the static defense comes up. So what's going to happen here is it's going to either have to retreat or just sacrifice all of them. So the set's come into this attack, and now it's basically down to no attackers. And now the Zerg seems to have an advantage here. They have static defense, and they also have a defense field. So they're going to be able to get this right
going to have to see if the bot's going to be able to pull off arrogance or whether it's going to just be kind of taking advantage of since it doesn't have any kind of organizations, weapons, that can save all of your equipment. You have to be done to 500 mils or 500 mils to get to 6,000 mils and one mil. One can conclude, so it's just a bit of a way. So it's being aggressive, uh, not taking an economical lead, and also the rush is not so specific because uh, the human is able to judge value with that it, but it's more than just very important. Yeah, so what we normally see here from, I guess, the human player would be some sort of tech switch. So we'd see the Protoss going for either um, Templar tech, which will allow for um, abilities to attack there, or it would be going to Star Corp, which just directly allows for free targets. And I don't think the Protoss player has actually been able to scout any of the player's main base, so it actually has no idea what's going on as far as what tech options it has. So it's not able to really react, but it is actually now building a starport which will allow to build air units. So this does look like um, a somewhat typical opening, except that it was a little too aggressive. Um, although it is now producing more units, it's not pushing in with those. So this is dangerous because the timing on the right is really critical where it needs to put pressure on the player's front base in order to pull units away um, from its own main. But we're seeing that it's actually kind of relaxing and not pushing pressure on it. So um, it's going to come down very critically whether it decides to push out or not. Yeah, so the spire which allows the human player to build air units is almost up. And um, at the same time, we see that the bot's actually going for an expansion now. So there's probably OK timing if it has some sort of contingency plan for the air units. But it looks like it's actually producing zealots, which only can in the background. And this is going to be quite devastating for the bot when this pops out. So this is not looking too good right now, um, unless the bot really becomes aggressive. Yeah, it's not good. Is that uh, as soon as I have uh, the spider ups, I can build as many vitalis or so aliens as they want at once. Uh, they just need the money, but they will have to choose it. You always see that they produce three, three eggs at one uh, because uh, all the units are produced from the same uh, lab, lava. And so if we, the human player will be able to have an army very quickly. And for the moment, the bot has mostly to be done against the army. So, yeah, so this is actually, uh, the human player's doing something that's quite similar to the winner of last year's competition, which was a somewhat economic focused um, kind of error heavy push. So it's not an all in rush, but it's basically not adapting its timing much unless there's a lot of really pressure. And basically the static defenses that threw down were enough to pull off the initial push while now it's able to go in and attack. So what we see now is the bot is out of place. It, it actually has units that can attack air units uh, that are being there, but they're out of place to so come back. And it is actually pulling them back. But what's going to happen is it looks like uh, the human player is doing up more meter lists, but it's going to be able to start picking off workers. Once this starts to happen, basically, the, uh, the boss is not going to produce anymore. It does have the Stargate tech left, so it's not going to be able to produce the resources income. And it looks like the boss is not really responding to this anytime soon. It is actually Good. Um, okay, so now this it has an area now that we have to do good damage against the wheels. The dragoons are attacking and it looks like it can pull this off. Um, it has lost a significant number of workers, but um, the city will push out now as well. So um, the initial player attack is kind of mitigated and we'll see what happens next. Yeah, the problem for the bot is that it kind of gives his base because if it gives the base with its army, it could be it will lose its gun. So basically from the moment it's compared to the next. So what we're seeing here is the players basically kind of using these wire units to harass the bot and to point back all the forces whenever it should actually be attacking the player. And this is something that's still kind of able to be played start that too, where basically you see the bot army moving out and you can just send in a couple workers to kind of the bot middle line and build two other things back. And we're seeing uh, the human player is actually doing that close as well, and it's getting quite a good advantage. What we see now looks like it's spinning down the units that can actually attack air, so once basically there's no anti-air units, we'll have a free airspace to attack where it's going. And it looks like this would pretty much be GPU and it's okay. So I'm applying it here that the human is taking that uh, basically due to the bottom line being aggressive enough. 
given kind of not as kind of corrective information and not be aggressive enough. Um, while it was kind of uh, aggressive rush, um, it didn't follow up with that later at the beginning of that. So if it did follow up with the version of the or it would have had enough pressure to actually get in between to see how to defend. So unfortunately, um, the human's still able to defeat this protoss uh, bot without too much trouble. So. Oh, yeah. And it's not even used, the human player is not even using the virtual at this point. Um, perhaps they're scared of something else. Uh, <laughs> I'll don't have to do that. Okay. So. so I'm just going to fast forward now. And basically, it's just a bot being torn apart now. If, if this was a match on an online server, what would be happening right now would be some sort of dialogue between the human and the bot, where the human would be either trying to build structures in their own space or kind of convince them that they need to leave. Um, <laughs> since 